I wished he'd carry me home. Bandage my foot. Turn it into one of his eccentric lessons. I wanted him to say, be careful, son. The world isn't as safe as an orchard. An orchard isn't safe. That's where I found him. The bottle rested at his feet. My family's name engraved in the crate he used to lift himself up. It was then that I realized that everyone had the same two motivations in life. One, to fulfill their desires. And two, to end their suffering. Pa knew what love was. He found it at the orchard. He knew he couldn't give it to us. He knew his love for cider was far stronger than his desire to stay sober. That's what killed him, not the alcohol. Pie was a good but complicated man. To counter this, he led a simple life. At least he didn't enjoy talking about the pressing issues. Pa liked his cider. Suppose that's what forced our problems into high gear. Cider consumed much of his mind, just as he consumed many bottles. Forrester cider. Simple. Not that I dislike simplicity, but the slow, repetitive mundaneness of life caught up to me. I didn't want each day to play out the same way. God damn it, I'm sick, come here. It always did, of course. There was little to expect, but the expected. One late afternoon, he took me up past our barn. Yes, he did at the start of every harvest season. The orchard always looked beautiful. 12 acres, trees planted in the rows of 10. We talked, but Pa never did talk poorly of others. You suppose we need another basket, Pa? Yeah, let's get, uh, get these ones filled up first and then we'll reuse them. With Pa, the conversation was either about the orchard, the cider, or country life. At 15, I craved nothing more than his approval. Pa always said I was just like my mom. There was nothing special about my presence then. Would have taken anybody's help. But I always told myself it was him who wanted me there. I'd tell myself he was thankful. He certainly never did. Masculinity is a funny thing. There's something off putting about overcompensating. I often wondered that alone didn't admit weakness. But weakness is something everybody tries to evade from. He would always make comments about me like that. As if one day he wanted me to stand up and exclaim my own account of manhood. What does it mean to be a man? On rare occasions, Pa would offer words of advice. See, that's the thing. People don't understand about farm life. It ain't as easy as you believe. These baskets ain't just full of apples, son. Think of them as full of the trials and tribulations of life. Conquer. I know I will. But I didn't. I think this is his way of clearing any fallacies between our interests. These sayings were almost certainly made up on the spot. I always pertain to the orchard. Sometimes they didn't make any sense, but they were amusing. And I appreciated the effort. I'm not sure if he knew that I knew what he was doing.
We pushed him too far that day. The guilt of beating his wife catch up with him. Only in his death had my mother been freed. Evident, unaddressed problems released into the cool air. A harvest of its own for us to pick from, suckling the sweet taste of closure. His last days were at the orchard. I distinctly remember. Twelve acres, trees planted in rows of ten. I wanted them to know. I remember glass bottles, Forrester cider. Philosophical lessons of farm life. I remember late afternoons, large baskets, smell of eggs in the morning. Most of all, I wanted to know one thing. But one day, when my own suffering is over, they'll bury me right next to them, right under that tree. <laughs>